Everybody, welcome to Thursday Morning Mic Talk. Glad that you're with me. I just found out some exciting news. Actually, it's been going for a day or so, but I just found out. The Starbucks I normally go to is back to their regular hours, 5 a.m. What that means is on Wednesdays and Thursdays when I wake up a little bit before 5 to get going, now I can run by Starbucks. It's just a great day. There's simple things in life. Just celebrate, right? So here's to another sign that COVID is coming to an end. <laughs> Praise God. I get my uh, Starbucks hours back. Sorry, I'm a sick man. Pray for me. I'm praying for you and I love you. Thanks for joining me on this awesome uh, Thursday morning. I'm going to stick with the book of Titus. You know, um, we were in there yesterday and uh, I just, I want to share something else with you from this really cool book. Remember the book was written um, from Paul to his son of the faith, Titus, who is in this occasion, he is in the island of Crete doing ministry. But there's a word that sticks out to me. I'm going to read the verse to you. His encouragement to Titus is to all of us. Of course, this is Bible inspired, but there's a word that stands out that I want to come back to and kind of explain it. But here's what he says um, to uh, Titus, his son in the faith, who's a pastor in Crete. Titus chapter 2, verse 7. Um, Show yourself in all respects to be a model of good works, and in your teaching show integrity, dignity, and sound speech that cannot be condemned, so that an opponent may not may be put to shame, having nothing evil to say about us. I, I want to focus on, there's, I mean, there's at least uh, two or three sermons in there. I'll try to narrow it down to one on this Thursday morning. Uh, what stuck out to me is this word sound, verse 8. Uh, you should, you should, your teaching should show integrity. It means you should practice what you preach. It should show dignity, so that you, you have the right, proper attitude towards what you're preaching. And sound speech that can't be condemned. In other words, don't use the kind of language that somebody can just, they can find a reason to not listen to you. Uh, they'll be put to shame if you just use these kind of words. The word sound there is a word that has, it's a medical word that has to do with a healthy, a good bill of health. So uh, a good translation would be have healthy speech. So today I thought we'd take that word and we'd do a, a health checkup because one of the great things about reading um, a book of the Bible all the way through, re- remember the book of Titus was never in three chapters and a bunch of verses. It was just a letter. And one of the advantages to reading through a letter, so a book like Titus, you can read in less than five minutes, five to ten minutes. And the advantage is, is that things stick out to you, themes in the, in the letter stick out. And sound, this word sound speech, is a key word here in the first couple of chapters of Titus. Three things I want you to do a, a health checkup today, a spiritual health checkup on this Thursday. Make sure that you're in good condition when it comes to being spirit-led. Uh, in verse 9 of chapter 1, he talks about sound doctrine. And then in verse 2 of chapter 1, he talks about sound doctrine again. How healthy is your doctrine? In other words, if you check what you believe and what you know about Scripture and what you're able to share with others about Jesus Christ, are you in a good place? If not, get in shape. Get in good health. The other word that he describes in verse 13 is, Therefore rebuke them sharply that they may be sound in the faith. In chapter 2, verse 2, sound in the faith. How healthy is your faith today? Do a health checkup on your faith and ask yourself, do I still stand strong in what I believe? Do I still believe that Jesus is the Christ? Do I believe he's the Lord of my life today, on this Thursday? And then, of course, check your speech. How healthy is my speech? When when people hear me talk, the words that I say, the things I talk about, is it healthy? Am I in good spiritual condition? Guys, here, here's the deal. We go to the doctor, um, we get checkups where our teeth, our eyes, and, and, and it's, the purpose is for us to go, oh, my eyes are okay. Oh, my teeth are fine. Oh, my heart's beating okay. And so we, we get this clean bill of health. Paul takes this medical term and says, what if we have healthy doctrine, what we believe in? What if we have healthy faith, what we, tr- who we trust in? And what if we have healthy speech? The way that we talk is seen as being in a good physical or a good spiritual condition. Guys, that's the thing today. Do a a spiritual health checkup today. Are you sound in faith? 
sound in doctrine, sound in your speech. Pray to God about these things. Think them through. And uh, let's all get healthier today when it comes to these three things. That's the word from Titus uh, on this Thursday morning. God bless you guys. Hope you have a great day. Pray for your pastor. I'm writing a sermon today, and I can't wait. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.